I am trying to get an authentic local Kotu experience today. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, Kotu is one of the most popular dishes here in Sri Lanka. And a few weeks ago I tried it already in a video, but many of you guys in the comment section were telling me that wasn't a real, proper, authentic Kotu experience. So today I'm going to try to find a very local restaurant where I can get the full Kotu experience. But yeah, before we go on the Kotu hunt, I would like to show you my accommodation here in Tangal at the moment. Because I read some comments asking, hey Ken, can you show us your accommodations more often in the videos? And whenever I am very happy with the accommodation, I am happy to show it in the video. And this time I'm staying at the Grand Residence here in Tangal. And it's a small family business, so I like to show it in the video because maybe it uh, can bring some extra business to the family here. And yeah, first of all, we have um, yeah, the entrance here, getting greeted right by a huge coconut tree here at the beginning. This is lovely. And you're gonna see in a minute, there are plenty of uh, coconut trees all around here, which makes the area look very beautiful. Hello, I make a little video about your hotel. I want to show your hotel in a video because I like it here. So yeah, this is um, basically um, the family is living right next door. Basically, this is their family house, a huge uh, family house here. It's not a chain hotel, which I like. It's a little bit more private like this. And you're not feeling like you're staying in a huge chain hotel where hundreds of guests are there. So it's more a little bit private here. And yeah, the family takes care of each guest which I really like. And yeah, we have this uh, huge pool area here, which is awesome. And that's all surrounded by these lovely coconut trees here. So this is, um, yeah, I think the highlight for me here of the hotel. And yeah, then we can walk up here actually. And uh, I will show you my room in a minute. First of all, this is the restaurant area where we have breakfast every morning. And I like it here because it's like an open yeah, restaurant, so you don't have really walls. It's everything very open here. And in the morning, there's a buffet style breakfast here. Some fruits, some breads, some noodles. They also have really delicious um, homemade coconut roti here, which they serve every morning. You can get tea, coffee, juices here. And yeah, here once again, we have the pool area. Down here, we have all the coconut trees surrounded here so it's very beautiful and by the way the beach is just a short five minutes walk from here if you saw the previous video i was at the beach which was over there just a five minute walk plenty of restaurants also along the way to the beach and yeah as you can see it doesn't really look like a hotel it looks yeah, like a like a family house right I'm not really sure how many rooms they have here, but I reckon not that many. So it's not like a huge chain hotel. And here, this is my room, a basic double room. I have a desk here as well. I have a, a bathroom attached, of course, with hot water. Not many hotels in Sri Lanka have hot water, but here, no problem with hot water. And then I have a balcony here, which is super nice. Because here yeah, from the balcony I can uh, see the pool. I really like it that it's totally surrounded here by all these coconut trees that uh, yeah, creates a really really nice uh, atmosphere here and it's a spacious balcony. Very nice to uh, relax a little bit in the evening for example and the price I am paying here currently is 5000 rupees per night including the breakfast. And yeah before we now get on a Kotu hunt I would like to say thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Surfshark VPN. And yeah, with the VPN service, you can virtually change the location of your phone or your computer, for example, to basically anywhere in the world. And as a traveler, that can be extremely useful because some websites aren't available in some countries or the content of some websites is not the same in some countries as it is in other countries. Netflix, for example, is a great example 
possible because the movies you can find on the American version of Netflix are totally different than the movies you can find on the Sri Lankan version of Netflix. And a big problem that I currently also have here in Sri Lanka is that my favorite music app, which is YouTube Music, is not available at all here in Sri Lanka. So in order to uh, log into my YouTube Music account, I need a VPN service. And a VPN service can also protect your data by encrypting it, which is totally helpful when doing stuff like online banking, for example. And the VPN service that I am using is Surfshark VPN. And if you would like to test it out, I have a special offer for you. If you use the link in my description and enter the promo code Ken, you can get 83% off plus three extra months for free. And they also offer a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can test it out completely risk free. Check out the link in my description. Thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. And now I'm hungry. Let's get some food. So to be honest, I haven't got a clue where to get proper authentic kocho here. So my idea is now maybe just ask a tuk-tuk driver. So uh, as I said before, we have plenty of restaurants around here. If we go this road, that is the road leading to the beach. Plenty of restaurants uh, at that road. Probably also some that are selling kotu, but yeah, these are all tourist restaurants. And I want to get a local authentic experience, you know. So I think uh, we are going to avoid the area here. Ah. He already has a passenger. Yeah, whenever you need a tuk-tuk, there's no tuk-tuk available. And if you don't need one, then there are hundreds around you. Let's see, normally we have some in front of the store here. But not now. Okay, let's see how long it takes until I can find a tuk-tuk. Oh, that one is full as well. Full as well. You can drive? You can drive? Yeah. Um, I want to eat some kotu. Kotu? Kotu. But I don't want to go to a tourist restaurant. Yeah. I want to go to a place with no tourists. No tourists? No tourists. Yeah, but one the city. City? Yeah. A very local restaurant? No, local restaurant. No tourists? No, no tourists. No tourists? <laughs> okay. How much? 300 rupees. Okay, okay. okay. All right. Delicious kotu, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You like the kotu? Yes, but I don't want to eat at a tourist place. <laughs> yeah. I want to eat yeah. at a local oh, place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The restaurant on the 600-800 rupees on the one uh, thing, uh, kotu. Yeah, that's the tourist yeah, price, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much you pay for a local kotu? Local kotu, maximum on the 500 rupees. Maximum 500? Yeah, maximum 500 rupees. Okay, okay. Chicken kotu. Okay, then... Uh, chicken kotu, the restaurant on the price on the 1,000 rupees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw some of the prices here at the restaurants. Up to 1,000 for a month. Do you have a favorite restaurant for Kotu? Yeah. You show me your favorite place? Yeah, famous. The Sri Lankan famous. Kotu and Daisankari on the famous. But but I mean your your favorite Kotu. I I know no no the famous. <laughs> you you don't like Kotu? No no like on the. You don't like? <laughs> yeah, I, I like on the rice and curry. You like rice and curry yeah, more? Yeah. Ah okay okay. So yeah, I already learned from you guys in the comment section. Kotu is not the number one dish here which I thought at the beginning, but uh, I think the number one dish is more yeah, rice and curry here for most people. But uh, feel free to let me know in the comments if you are from Sri Lanka, what is your number one dish? So we are going to the city center now. Really? City center? Yeah, it yes. is. Okay. Now we're going to the city center of Tangol. I've actually never been there before. I literally arrived here two days ago first day you saw in the previous video when I was at the beach. So this is now my first time going to the city actually. Ah, this place here? Yeah, this place. Hotel? Yeah, hotel. Normal, no, 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 Okay, have a good day. All right, let's see. Let's have a look around. I see no tourists here. <laughs> That's already a good first sign. So the new city hotel. 
Yeah, I realized that already that uh, some restaurants in Sri Lanka are called hotel. So this is not a hotel to sleep in, it's a place to, to eat. Let's see. Oh, I think... Hello. Hello. Oh, I think what they are doing there is already possible. Hello. Once again, I'm a little bit lost here as a foreigner. But that is okay. Maybe order here. Hello, I order here. I would like to eat kotu. 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 Cheese kotu. You have a chicken cheese? Chicken cheese. Chicken cheese. Uh, spicy? Uh, no spicy. I eat it here. Eat here? Eat it here. Yes? Yeah, one. Just one, yes. How much is it? Just one cashew. Okay. Alright, that was easy and yeah, I'm going to try uh, chicken cheese now. Last time I tried just chicken. But I'm actually curious to uh, try the version with chicken and cheese. I pay already here? Ah, yeah. oh, you maybe have to pay right away here. Cheese uh, Chicken cheese. Chicken. Take away. Uh, eat here. Let's see. How much is it? 800. 800. Oh, and can I get something to drink? Um, the milk chocolate. Oh, the price now was 800. Then the taxi driver told me that the local kotru usually is maximum 500. If you saw my previous video where I tried the kotru, it was um, yeah, basically what, what is inside. I'm not an expert now, but let me recap it a little bit. So we have uh, chopped roti chalai, and then they add some, some greens, maybe some carrots here, and then uh, of course the, the chicken. And in this case, uh, the cheese as well. Ah, yeah. So he places all the ingredients on the plate. Then uh, he added two eggs now, some uh, some chili powder, some salt, I think, and then it all gets heated up on the on the big plate there. It's a very, I think, a very uh, quick to prepare dish. It usually takes like uh, two three minutes maybe, and then it's done. Ah, yeah. Now it gets all mixed up. I think I'm not even sure if this is mine. And then he added uh, the roti, which is already uh, chopped. Now, yeah, the iconic thing. Oh, yeah, now they are adding cheese. Like a triangle cheese. Piece or two actually. Oh, it's gonna be heavy then, I think, with the, with the cheese inside. Ooh, looking forward to that. Oh, he puts over milk. That is interesting. Milk? Why he pours over some milk? So, by the way, what are we having here? Milk chocolate drink. Just to uh, wash it down, you know? Alright, so it looks like a huge portion to be honest and I think it's going to be really heavy with the, with the cheese inside but I'm very looking forward to this. Yeah, the number one recommendation in the comment section to try was always kotu. So then I tried kotu a few videos ago and uh, many of you guys were telling me oh that wasn't the proper real authentic kotu experience. So here you can hear in the background still how they Chopping on the on the hot plates there. So I hope. Uh, ah, what is this? Fish curry. Fish curry. Yeah. Ah, you put on top. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Fish curry. Mm. Sounds uh, good. Or smells good. Actually. Let me let me just pour over some right away. I think you, you really need to pour over something to uh, make it less dry because I think the dish just itself can be really dry. I'm really looking forward to try it now. Oh, it's a completely different taste with the cheese inside. Wow. And yes, it's a very heavy meal, I think. So here I think I have some chicken pieces. Oh wow, oh, the combination of the chicken 
with the cheesy sauce around it. Oh, that is awesome. I think here I have a big piece of cheese. Not sure what cheese they, they're using. Mm, it was not, I thought at the beginning, I thought they're going to add slices of cheese on top and making them, you know, like melt over, like over baking it with cheese, you know. But it was more like a, like a cream cheese, I think they, they were adding. Mm. Oh. oh yeah, that was a huge piece of cheese. Super delicious. Wow. But oh my god, let me tell you, this is a heavy meal. I'm not sure if I will be able to finish this. I mean, this is my dinner now. It's 6 o'clock in the evening. And from what I heard, this is a typical uh, dinner dish in Sri Lanka. And we're here in the background. Oh, I love places like this. Very local restaurant, no tourists, no air conditioning here, just the tiny thing here. It's loud, it's noisy. Yes. Let me see if I can actually finish this plate or not. All right, I have to admit, I wasn't able to finish the portion because it was a super, super heavy meal. But it was also very delicious, the, the cheese, the chunks of cheese you can find in the dish are really adding a special flavor to the whole meal. And yeah, I liked the meal already the first time I tried it. And I liked it now the second time with the cheese even a little bit more. And yeah, if you haven't seen the previous video, which was also about food, I tried delicious chicken roti at the beach here and check out the previous video. Thanks for joining, stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao guys.